Hello folks, how are you doing? Um, basically I did a wee video just showing you uh, my arcade cabinet and how it works etc. I'm currently going to switch it on here. So there is a switch up in the back here. Which switches it on. You just give it a wee moment to switch on. Now the reason I'm selling this is because um, I don't want it to be collecting um, dump in the garage when I'm away to England before I can get to collect it. So I don't want it to be destroyed. I would rather it go to a good home. The uh, marquee at the top is basically my my beads page company, so it is, um, which can be changed from the inside at the back. There will be keys that will let you get into the back of the machine, into the wiring, etc. And that's the music, uh, the sound of it just turning on. Got your player two coin and um, start button. Six button machine. Two controllers. Two sides. Now you're probably wondering why the color is green and blue. It's actually to do with these two guys. I did get the stickers and stuff for the side, which I can send you. They're currently in England, over with my girlfriend at the moment because, well, I had no way to get them over here to get them on. So you can have those if you like, the bubble bobble ones, or you can get your own for it, custom made by someone, I'm sure. But completely up to you. Um, I will probably ask for just the shipping on that. Um, just got a text there, sorry for the noise in the background. Anyway, so here we go. We've got the uh, main arcade up here. So just basically go up and down to see your games. There are hundreds and hundreds of games on here, as you can see. So it will be a nightmare trying to go through, but there is an easier way to do it. Press the coin button. It brings up this little option here, and you can go for your audio options, etc. But you can also go into find game to select it. Press the start button. Then it comes up to A, B, C, D, E. So if we're looking for a game, let's say, let's say for argument's sake, Metal Slug. Let's press the start button again. And I'll take us to the end parts. Okay. Then keep pressing the coin button again until it exits. There we go. So we want to find uh, Metal Slug here, for example. So let's go M E T. Metal Slug three. Metal Slug. Let's go into the first one just for classic sake. Press the start button to select it. <laughs> and it will load the ROM. A classic Neo Geo. I love that sound opening and everything. You want to insert your coins. As many as you want. Press uh, the start button on player one. You get your information there. Then you have your controls. This is a two player game, so if you want, press start the second player. Get two players. If you want to exit the game, hold the credit button, then press start. Or the other way around, sorry. Sorry about that, it's been a while since I used it, I forgot it's the other way around. So you hold the start button, then press the coin button to exit, and then you come back to here. Now, um, that's not all. There is also other systems on the machine. So you got your six buttons here. So the bottom two here. This is left. This is right. So if you press the right side, it takes you to the next um, console, which is the Super Nintendo. Again, quite a few games on this. Not every single Super Nintendo game, but quite a nice amount. Same with the Sega Mega Drive. Plenty of sweet ass games on here. Um, then select again. You got your original Nintendo. Your Master System, your Game Boy, Game Boy Color, your Game Gear, you have Neo Geo Pocket, TurboGrafx-16, Atari 2600, Atari Lynx, a 32X, Mega CD, N64. The N64 one, I don't think the controls really work in that, but I think you can get a USB controller to work with it that comes out of the machine. Um, Sony PlayStation which works actually surprisingly well. I have played a couple of games, well mainly like Tekken and stuff like that with this, um, which actually work well. Game Boy Advance, some nice games on here. 
uh, the laser disc, which is a bit weird, the fighting jam, which I have to admit isn't exactly, it kind of froze on me when I tried it before, maybe because of the processor on this machine. It's not exactly very high end, so it, it does the job though for what you want it. And there's a jukebox, which I've never used, so. But anyway, yeah, so there's quite a few different things on this. There are thousands and thousands of games. Um, one of the games I will be definitely wanting to play later. Probably even a little while before I leave here. I mean, the, oh, I'll rethink this really cool. The excellent Dizzy collections on this too, which is, I think, pretty sweet. Uh, I'm a big Dizzy fan, and uh, Fantasy Dizzy as well. They're fantastic Dizzy, I should say. Fantasy Zone. Fantasy Zone, gotta love that game. Uh, Final Bubble Bob <laughs> Japan, I guess. Um, but yeah, the one I want to play again is one I love, and it's Ghostbusters. A lot of people like Ghostbusters on the Master System, but I really love this game. I, I just love it. Um, I guess it's just Commodore 64 days is just really what appeals to me. Anyway, that's the machine. Just really power it down again. Or if you want to start up a new game, let's start up the Ghostbusters game. Comes up with a... Get on the there's. Sorry. Sound like a twat there. <laughs> I just find it really funny. Anyway. Yeah, so that's the machine. And I'll just... Power it down. And that's the machine there. So, if you live in Northern Ireland, or live in Ireland, and have some way to pick it up, um, what I'm looking for is £400 uh, via PayPal. Um, if you can, please cover the fees for me. I think the fees for the £400 is 14 But then again, I've noticed that if you pay by gift on PayPal, I don't get charged, but I think it's because I'm confirmed on there. If you're confirmed on there, I don't think you get charged fees if you do it as a gift. I'm, I'm not 100% on that. But, um, if you can cover the fees, um, but I think it's like an extra £14, I'd say an extra 10 on top of the 400 if you can cover it that way, just so you're not covering the full amount, that'll be great. And, um, what I'll do is... I'll have it here for you. I'll need to collect it by Monday next week because I move on Tuesday. So if you can collect it here Monday next week, that'd be great. Um, not giving out my address, obviously, because I want to make sure that the, the person who buys it is the one who gets my address. Um, but thank you very much. But I do love in Derry. So if you're handy to Derry or can drive up from down south to Derry, it's sterling, by the way, £400 sterling, not in euros. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, take care.